Hey, what's up guys, Relax, we're back here, and today we are starting our quest to complete every single achievement in Hearthstone to officially have it 100%ed, you know, completionist and whatnot. And we are starting by playing a Climatic Necrotic Explosion deck. Um, so this upgrades randomly and is improved with the corpse you spend. So I believe it will raise the damage and raise the stats on the ghouls. And there's an achievement to play this card with at least seven in everything. So hopefully it doesn't mean you have to have like six souls for the health, six souls for the, you know, that type of shit. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, my guess is it's probably stats, number, and then uh, damage. It does it randomly. So we're playing a deck that focuses around consuming souls. So between the Maligant Horror, the Bone Shredders, um, the Mosh Pits, the Defrost. I believe that is it. We're able to consume a lot of souls. One, two, three, four. Uh, four plus six plus 12, 16, 26, minimum 30, if we play every card in our deck, basically. So that should be able to get us to seven on everything, and hopefully we'll be able to cast it. But uh, yeah, anyways, with all that being said, how about we go and we queue up the first game, and let's see how it goes. Hopefully we can complete the achievement. If not, we'll have to do it at one point on stream or something. All right, guys. Yeah. With that being said, let's uh, let's go queue it up. All right, guys. I'll see you guys all there. All right. I love how there's a counter. Well, that's pretty good. Um, I kind of want to keep this whole hand. It's like this can gain this death rattle. Does this have to be? Oh, it's it's one that died this game. All right, so this needs to die. It's good to know. Also, by the way, I hope everybody has a beverage. I am currently drinking myself a nice Pepsi, uh, because I wanted a Pepsi. You know, you know how it be. That's fine. I don't think he pokes here. He does poke. I see. I see. So we gotta start farming those corpses, you know what I'm saying? It'd actually be pretty cool if there were more... Like, this is actually one of the few achievements that I think would become much easier to complete later on. Right? Um, like, say if you gave it a year, I feel like this uh, quest would be fairly easy to complete. Just because at, at that point, there's gonna be enough really good cards that are gonna be in all the... the all the tribes, basically that will be able to uh, i meant to play this me uh there'll be just enough cards that consume uh corpses to make it better um so yeah so i feel like in the future this quest is gonna become much easier to complete than it is uh, at the moment this is really annoying the fact that he hit a taunt is really annoying. I was hoping he's going to just play a whole bunch of really small dudes. So this way I could do this, get all of his things to get, you know, the 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 effect, and then shade into his shit. That is so good for me. Oh my god, that is actually insanely good for me. Now I have this train, this train, and this one. So good for me. Let's go. Okay. And we have a lot of corpse, so we can start um, eating them, especially as right. He needs to trade into my dudes at some point. And that should just give me... Like, these give me corpses, right? I assume so. So, yeah. Okay. We, the, the other thing is we also have to draw this, right? I can play this this turn. I mean, it's turn five. Might as well play it. That pokes there. That does there. That does there. That goes there. I'm not necessarily focusing on killing him. More as I'm focusing on just generating a lot of value um, in this situation. Oh, 
Oh, that's also really good. Is this better right now? Oh, that's going to be slightly better next turn. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to be slightly better next turn. So my guess is he's going to poke here. Then potentially kill the other one. Or I'm going to be able to trade it in and play this. I'm going to get two copies of it. Start trading in my other guys. Get more and more copies. Now hopefully have that be good enough. Potentially. Like it already has reborn. But I can always give it reborn. With the, if he can give that poisonous. I concede the game. Oh. He's giving me so many corpses. He doesn't even know what he's about to face. Corpses. Value. Don't want to use this for yet. Okay, okay, okay. I like this. I like this. Hero power would have also been pretty good because it meant that if I hero power next turn, I'm able to trade into something. This gets another copy. But yeah. Hmm. If only had a way to buff my guys. This way, some of the copies would be slightly better. You actually hit the explosive trap. This is an undead, right? Or is this an undead beast? I want specifically an undead, so... This is pretty good. Alright. We've consumed a lot of souls. These are gonna just give oh, these are giving us just even more. We're getting so much value. I love getting value. I do really need to hit the, the climactic necrotic explosion. Oh, that's so bad for me. He's playing the small version of that deck, which I mean, it kind of helps me out a little bit, because there's no big threat I have to necessarily worry about, but it is annoying at the same time, because everything he has is small, so I can't really trade my guys into, like, I'm going to do... So here I'm going to probably do poke, 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 kill that with this. I can't open up a space on my board. What the fuck is that? good for him actually put in the buzzer back in his hand it's really really good for him no you didn't let me play my payoff card how will i complete my quest now uh, oh well uh all right well let's queue up the next one and hopefully have as good as a start so this way we can actually hit it and play it all right, guys, yeah, with that being said, let's uh, let's keep the next game and hopefully have it go better. All right, I'll see you guys all there. All right, all right. This hand is not great. Hog? We're keeping it. Oh, I can't afford to keep it. Wait, why can't I afford to keep it? I'm the one who makes the rules here. We're keeping it. Don't do this. If you're trying to do it, don't keep this in your opening hand. <laughs> Spoilers, it's really bad. It's probably this on three. This is the turn after. Good draw. This is just fairly good, because I'm going to be able to eat totems with it. So it's going to help this out a lot. I might actually potentially even coin this out, depending on what he does. If he hero plus gets a 1-1, one -one, then I'm just going to poke out my dude. He gets an O2 or he plays something else. Uh, I think just coining this out, killing it is slightly better. Start farming corpses for this. All right. My opponent's AFK, I'm going to be upset. I'll take the trade here. Just coin this out. 
And now I have a really good play for next turn, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go tour guide, hero power, get something. And potentially also kill another minion uh, with the weapon. You know what's the worst part? This deck is actually kind of fun. Just jamming random shit and just hoping it works out is kind of fun. I do really hope I get to resolve this card. Like, that would be like... I don't know, I've never seen anyone play this card. I've never seen this card played. So I want to just be able to play it for the sake of being able to play it, you know? So the thing here, right? No. Yes? No. Yes? No. Yes? Yes? No. I can't, I can't, I can't get myself to do it. I would love to take KT there, but I'm playing it's a deck I know that plays Mutinous. And I don't think I'm ever going to have a chance to resolve it. So it doesn't make sense to pick it in this. In this one exact scenario, it doesn't make sense to pick it. I would love to pick Mutinous, though. I would do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. Let's be hero power, get another one, kill it. I don't want him to give him an opportunity to bounce this. Slightly better. Does the drop as well. It farms a couple less, less corpses, but I'm fine with that. Alternate wind con? This is by far the best card I can take here, right? Next turn, I probably play Sludge. Turn after that, I do this, this. Start consuming corpses to buff this. I think that's a fine play. Patchwork would be really good, because I could potentially eat Shadowwalk, and then I could just kind of play like a control E game until I get to play this for a lot. Oh, I will now just want to slam this so badly. I want to slam that because he was overloaded, but I also remembered it's only for one. This is a better use of my mana. Next turn, this is also better. I want this card golden. It's probably such a gorgeous golden card. Does this one have a, one of the specialty, like the full, full art ones? I can't think of what they're called. This is going to be fairly good. Oh my god, it actually is for each stat. How many do you need then? 5, 6, uh, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You need to consume 17 corpses. Please tell me this works the way I want it to work and not the way I think it works. I don't know which effect gets applied first. I don't know if they go down to one and then go up to three for the battle cry ones, or if it just seeing that play makes me think it's at their three cost. Or not. Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. Talk talk. beautiful okay so we need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven more corpses consumed that's so many fucking corpses man that's so good for him 
But it does buff this. Oh no, it doesn't buff this up quite as much as I would like, but. This just really sucks. I do have a shitload of corpses now, though, which is pretty dope. I just. I won't be able to deal with this. This is. I mean, Mutinous is just doing Mutinous things. Not even guaranteed for the other ones to go up. Unless I could have one face. You just place another two Murlocs, waste my board, and I just die. Or. 10, 13. He needs two more locks and I'm just dead anyways. I'm actually going to be potentially like... Am I one away? No, I'm... One, two, three, four away. So painful. That just fucking sucks. It really sucks. I'm so close yet so far. Go. Cool. Alright, we have time for at least one more game. Maybe in that last game we'll get it. Man, but you need so many. Because it starts at one ones, right? So that's... 6, 12, just on those. Starts by summoning 2, so that's an additional 5, that's 17, and you need 2, so you need 19 corpses consumed. That is so many. What the fuck, man? That's rough. Anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's skip the next game. The next <sighs> We're fucking tripping. Yeah, this is actually pretty solid. This is actually this hand's really good for the early um for the early game. Right, I have egg into amalgam to kill something he plays. Weirdly enough, I think I have a higher chance of being able to do what I want to do in this game than I do against Shutter. For like the big reason just being, if I can control the board well enough in the early game. I'm fine. Your trap are you cleaning out? Heal. Heal's not the scary one, so it's fine. That is such a good. Uh, sorry, I want to copy this. These are all terrible. I guess it's just this. Okay, I would... Okay. I can wipe here. Hard strike on the O2. Uh... Oh, this is slightly better, actually. Just start farming, farming those corpses, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Weirdly enough, something like Mosh Pit would be a very good draw here. The reason Mosh Pit would be so good is I could potentially proc this and then re-give it reborn and then trade it in again, which is like not bad. Not bad, not bad. Hopefully it's a 2-3. We're sitting on the board. Feels bad. Okay. Fine. Again, my focus here should be on controlling the board, and he's doing a really good job at pressuring me, so I need to find something that gives gives me taunt minions. Yeah, like the the spider thing is pretty good. That is also not half bad.
It's pretty good. The, like, the other thing was pretty good. This is slightly better, I think. Does this gives me an activator for this is the big thing. I need to try and figure out a way to trade in a lot of things next turn so this is active, so I can start farming for this. Fine. My hand has a lot of ways to just kill random shit. Snipe? Oh! Get cocked. I think it's so much value here. But actually insane value. That's so much value. I love getting value. I'm a value machine. <laughs> Like again, right? I could, I'm I'm not really playing to win in the in these games. I'm 100% just playing for quest complete for the achievement completion. Just also objectively the wrong way to play the game, but I'm having fun. Sorry about that. It's choking on air. That's not ideal. You have to have two of them, right? All right, I take a million damage here. Take like my entire health bar and damage here. It really sucks. But I wipe, kill this most important thing. Really? You really top deck this? actually nuts here this is nuts as it slows him down just enough for me be able to get ahead board wise and tempo wise all right this is just like enough things where i just stop taking punishment unless he draws a board wipe but if he draws a board wipe i mean First, you top deck and draw a card into a 5-5 five, five taunt, which prevents me from killing this. I mean, like, hey. Okay. This next turn to consume more corpses. Really? You fucking... Bro, your draw is so good. Don't know what this is gonna give me soul plays here. No, I need some more souls. <laughs> I need to summon more things. Uh, Malignant Horror is probably the best draw in my deck, and I don't really think it's close. 
Maybe I should be playing two of those, just because they're so good. Every single time I think about drawing it, it's just such a value card that I feel like I should probably be playing more of them. Oak, Dope, Hero Power, Kill Bear. God damn it. I want him to play something huge here, in reality. So that's why I can't kill him, and he can't kill himself. Because I'm actually gonna stop attacking him just to get actual chance at completing this. The only thing I want right now is to complete this. Oh, get another 8-8 eight eight that I have to trade into. Do it, do it, get another 8-8. I'll trade into the 8-8 eight eight and be happy about it. Just kidding, I'll actually be fucking miserable about it, but hey. I'd be fine about it if he didn't hit... What's it called? That is also so fucking good for him. My Lignant Horror would probably be... Fucking mock it. Let's try. Damn it, I low rolled this so bad where I can't even do it next turn. Because I rolled so much on damage that I just can't do it next turn. Although if you play something big enough, I'll, I can just, again, this is just lethal. That punch is there. Zero power kill there. Right. I might be forced to play this and that really sucks. With like four missing. I need to get patchwork or something. Uh, this never even works. Three away. Zero power, I can kill both of those. I have one last turn where I can do this. Take six and that five. I don't think there's any, there's cards that are, I'm definitely just dead here. There's a couple combination of cards in his deck that just kill me here. Does he hit? To be fair, again, I had lethal in hand. I chose not to play it because I'm technically three away, so I could do this here and high roll seven on souls and I win the game. Again, I'm just going for it, right? At this point, there's no point not to. I roll one time. I low rolled. That is actually a really sick animation. But we were two health away from hitting the achievement. That fucking sucks. That really fucking sucks. Two health away, huh? Two health away, but we hit so much on damage. Like, bro, look at, like, so, just so you guys know, this is the achievement. Every number, the seven or more. Ah, oh, we were so close. We were so, so close. I mean, you 30 death rolls with death growl. What the fuck is death growl? How the fuck are you supposed to give a minion 30 death rattles? Use the minions, spread its death rattle to adjacent minions. You have two of them in your deck. How does that work? How do you get that achievement? Don't know how to, if you guys know how to get that achievement, please tell me because I am I am lost. Anyways though, Rainbow DK with Climatic Necrotic Explosion. It's really fun. Honestly, I was having a blast playing this deck. I do think I might want to add one more of these. Maybe cut this for this. Higher odds at drawing this. Higher odds at continuing to farm corpses and shit. 
But no, overall, like this deck is a lot of fun. I would highly, highly recommend it, trying it to all those who have not. The one thing that sucks about this is technically trading one in all the way, like killing the first part and then the token it summons and then with your hero part is not quite enough to get the second one. You need another minion on top of that, which kind of sucks, but this is still probably the best card to farm uh, corpses with. Uh, also, just so you guys know, uh, my plan, uh, as I said, right, my goal is to complete every achievement. I'm not going to do any of them just going against a friend to complete them because I think that is cheating. So I want to get them all the real way, which is getting them playing against people. It's the same thing. I know that there's the ones where it's like discover the murder at Castle Nathia or whatever, where you have to play certain cards in a certain order. My plan is to do that on ladder, which I know is a terrible idea, but I'm still going to try it nonetheless. Same thing with uh, all of them. Like the, I think it's what the Mysteries of Altarok Valley or something like that is the, is the other one. My plan is to do that in an actual game against a person. So, yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one where hopefully we will be getting some more dubs. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace.